All right, we've seen images over the past uh, two days and today. A uh, very strong wind gust along our coastline, high surf, elevated rip current risk, and you can even see on our airport camera right, right now, a bit on the shaky side. It has been windy throughout most of the day. East-northeast wind flow right there at around 24 miles per hour at the airport. We've seen some higher gusts as well right along the immediate coast where our wind speed is ranging anywhere from about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Notice our wind speed drops once you get inland. Or only about a 10 mile per hour sustained wind right now in Okeechobee. Some wind gusts have been in excess of 35 miles per hour. We had a 37 mile per hour wind gust reported in the Boca area, and it is certainly on the rainy side. We're tracking widespread rain across most of South Florida, including the Treasure Coast and Palm Beach County. Light rain has been spreading across St. Lucie County over the past hour. This will enter uh, Indian River County over the next 30 minutes. And then we're also tracking heavy rainfall now moving in from Broward and Miami County. Flood advisories in effect for these areas, which are seeing just very heavy rainfall rates, which is leading to some localized flooding, especially along streets and low lying areas. Now that threat continues into parts of Southern Palm Beach County. As the afternoon goes along, we're going to see on and off rain throughout the rest of the day with the potential for a few heavy downpours. We have an elevated risk for flooding in areas of South Palm Beach County, including the Boca area, and an isolated threat for the rest of the region too. So here's a look at that hour by hour. Two o'clock, we'll see heavy rainfall moving through Palm Beach County. Some of the spreads into the Treasure Coast with light to moderate rain. And then we'll start to taper off that rain overnight. Cloudy to start out your Thursday, with the chance for more afternoon thunderstorms building back in on your Thursday, not quite as widespread rain like we're seeing today. Generally, we could see maybe an additional inch of rain area wide, some isolated amounts, like I said, higher, especially in southern Palm Beach County and at the coast. So we're starting to see those rain bands moving in as well, associated with that uh, warm front to our south. So unsettled today, a few more storms into tomorrow. We're really going to notice the warm up heading into the weekend. Temperatures rebound into the upper 80s before another front arrives heading into Sunday. So today we've been in the 70s. We've actually been in the 70s for the start of the week. We'll return to the upper 80s for afternoon highs Friday, Saturday and into Sunday as this warm front lifts to the north. When we get a warm front moving in, it essentially brings in warmer air. So that's what we're going to see as that low pressure area lifts to the north in the Gulf of Mexico. We're going to keep rainfall activity around through tomorrow with a few showers heading into the weekend. But we'll see a bit of sun move in by Saturday, linger around to the start of Sunday, and then a frontal boundary arrives early next week. This will finally bring in slightly drier air towards the middle of next week. So the highest rainfall chances today and tomorrow. We dry up though by Friday and into Saturday, a bit more sun in the forecast. And a look at that 10 day really shows the story. Temperatures really warming up heading into the weekend. We'll see the potential for heavy rainfall throughout this afternoon and then drier air finally filters in by the middle of next week.